Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. Coming up in today's video, bargain basement Wonder Kids, strikers in Football Manager 2021 that will cost you less than £1 million at the start of the game. We will show you how good these guys get in 10 years time and you already know because I've told you and because I've done it myself, we can pick them up for a million pound at the start of the game. Now do us a favor before we get started, if you appreciate the video at any point, smash that like button. That really, really helps us out. It helps promote the video and the channel out into the YouTube verse. Hit subscribe if you're new. We got Wonder Kids lists at the moment going out three times a week and the save is coming soon. The Wonder Kids save game. Now I appreciate that there are some variables in terms of development. These guys aren't always going to develop the same in every single save, but all I can do is show you the results that I've got. And all these players, like I said, are available for under £1 million. So incidentally, if you want the short lists, that is available to the Patreon. So we do have a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel, or if you want the short lists, head on over there. I'll put the link in the description. So first up, Paul Glatzel. Okay, Paul Glatzel at the start of the game is a 19 year old player playing at Liverpool. They'll let him go for le less than a million pounds to you. You can see here in 2030, he's got finishing and composure, as well as acceleration and pace, stamina, agility, and natural fitness. Paul Glatzel, though, what we like about him is his mentals. So he's got vision, off the ball, flair, determination, composure, and he's still only 28. Next up on the list then, Leandro. Rossi, you can see here, bang, he's got the holy trinity, dribbling, finishing, and first touch. He's a 16-year-old at the start of the game, playing for AC Milan. They will let him go for less than a million pound. Unfortunately, he hasn't got the work rate that you might desire in your team, uh, but he has got off-the-ball determination, and a look at those physical. His natural fitness is 19, which is a big number. Next up, Leighton Stewart, okay? Leighton Stewart is an English boy, he's 27 years old here in 2030, so it is a given that in 2020 he is 17 years old. He's playing for Liverpool again at the start of the game, and again Liverpool are willing to let him go for less than a million pounds. First touch and dribbling, as well as heading. This guy's 5 foot 10, but he can still head the ball. He hasn't got the jump in reach, so he's not going to leap in the air, but when it does come to him, bang, he's going to slot him away, hopefully, for you. Anticipation, 17, which is great. Coupled with off the ball, acceleration and pace makes for a good striker. Mark my words. Next up then, Antoine, which is a funny name, Antoine Hackford. Now, Antoine Hackford at the start of the game is only 16 years old and he's playing for Sheffield United. They will sell him to you for less than a million pound. Finishing 15, composure 14, but look at that, stamina 16 and off the ball of 17. Technique as well. 16, which coming from a Sheffield United player is saying something. Sorry, Sheffield United fans. Dane Scarlett next then until we move up into the big boys. Dane Scarlett dribbling, finishing. First touch lets him down a bit, but he's got good penalty taken and crucially excellent determination. Acceleration and agility are this guy's forte along with his pace. Great striker there. Dane Scarlett then at the start of the game is a Tottenham youngster. 16-year-old at Tottenham and they will sell him to you. Guess how much for? Less than a million pounds. That's right, you're getting the idea. So Slavio Diaz then as we move into the top four. Great physically, but also mentally. Look at that. Compo well, not really brave, but he's got composure, decisions, off the ball. I say he's not that great mentally, but it's not a lot of whites. That's what I call him. Not a lot of whites. Nothing much under 10. Finishing, first touch and dribbling then. Diaz has got the lot. Have I done? I haven't done my favourite guy yet, have I? Alexi Hino, okay? And I'm sorry, Alexi, but I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Alexi Hino at the start of the game, a 16-year-old Chelsea youngster. And yes, they will let him go for less than a million pound pace, acceleration, agility, jump in reach, dribbling, as well as determination and off the ball. Lee Harkin then, next. Harkin back to the old days of yore with dribbling, finishing, Flair, acceleration, agility, and the pace. Harkin is playing at Wolves at the start of the game, and here he's still playing at Wolves. He's from Northern Ireland, and he's 16 at the start of the game. Less than a million pound. Top two then, Gnotto, or Notto, or Wilfred, as I like to call him. Wilfred, at the start of the game, 
16-year-old playing at Zurich. Look at that physical side of his game there. Acceleration, 18. Agility, 18. Natural fitness, 18. Pace, 17. So this guy is lightning. Off the ball, 17. Vision, 17. Dribbling, 16. Technique, 16 as well. And look at that. First touch, composure. He's got a lot of 15. Stamina as well. It's 62 million he's worth now when he's playing for Liverpool. You can get him for less than a million at the start of the game six, as a 16-year-old. My favourite player, though, Lazaro. Lazaro, at the start of the game, playing in South America, an 18-year-old. Pluck him out of the Southern Hemisphere and you have got yourself a bargain basement wonder kid. Acceleration and agility, pace, anticipation, composure, concentration and decisions, flair, off the ball, vision, technique, heading. He's six foot tall and he can dribble, finish and has got a decent first touch. Thank you very much for watching guys. That has been Bargain Basement Wonder Kids, all available for under one million pound at the start of the game. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you would like more content and head on over to Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. See you next time.